Another special kind of relation is a partial order, which is any relation that is reflexive, antisymmetric, and transitive. Just like equivalence relations were meant to get at the idea of two things being the same without necessarily being equal, partial orders are meant to generalize the idea of one object being less than or equal to another object. We've got some examples we've already seen. The inclusion relation on a family of sets, the divisibility relation on a set of integers, and our less than or equal to relation on a pair of Boolean matrices. Partial orders come equipped with some pretty nice visualizations. In a partial order, if x is less than or equal to y, and when I say less than or equal to, I'm talking about the partial order, not necessarily the usual meaning of less than or equal to. If x is less than or equal to y with no intermediate element between them, then we say that y covers x. A Hasse diagram is a diagram with an edge from x up to y if and only if y covers x. Here's an example. On the left is the directed graph for the inclusion relation on the power set of ABC. This directed graph is horrifying, mostly because the edges induced by transitivity clutter the graph. On the other hand, a Hasse diagram is going to look a lot nicer. We'll put the empty set on the bottom. Above it are the singleton sets. Above those are the sets with two elements. And on the top is the universal set. I'm going to draw an edge from the empty set up to each of the singletons and I'm going to draw an edge from each singleton up to the pair that contains it. Then I'm going to draw an edge from each pair up to the universal set. And because partial orders are assumed to be reflexive and transitive, all of those other edges are implied by the edges that I've drawn. So this cube looking thing is the Hasse diagram for the inclusion lattice on the power set of ABC. First of all, you may be put off by the long list of pairs to the left side of the screen, but because of reflexiveness and transitivity, partial orders typically have a lot of pairs in them. The element Z1 is going to be related to itself and Z6. Z2 is going to be related to Z1, itself, Z3, and Z6. Z3 is related to itself and Z6. Z4 is related to Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5, and Z6. Z5 is related to Z1, Z3, Z5, Z6. Z6 is related to itself. Z7 is related to Z3, Z6, and itself. Here's how you draw a partial order when you're just given a set of pairs. The lower elements in the partial order are going to be the ones that are related to the most other things. That's going to be Z4 because in our relation, Z4 is related to everybody. The top of our Hasse diagram is going to be the elements that are related to the fewest number of other elements. That, in this case, is going to be Z6, which is only related to itself. Z1 is only related to itself and Z6, so maybe we'll put it down here next to Z6. Same with Z3. Z5 should be under Z1 and Z3. Same with Z2. And I'm going to need to swap the positions of Z1 and Z3 so that I can put Z7 over here off on its own. Z4 is less than Z5 and Z2, which are each less than Z3 and Z1. Z1 and Z3 are each less than Z6, and Z7 is less than Z3. And we're done. That's the Hasse diagram that represents this relation.